dare to play. Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amor Alicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew Labyrinth of Lies Part 13. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. <laughs> I am so glad that I am back, and if you are hearing any noise in the background, it is because I am recording uh, basically on my bed. <laughs> my desktop is officially dead. If you are not following me on Twitter or Facebook or even on my Instagram, Actually, I've not been telling anyone what's been going on on my Instagram, but basically on my Twitter and my Facebook, if you're following me on there, or even on my discussion parts of my channel, all of you should know that I have been having problems with my computer, my desktop computer. First off, the mic input on the front part of the tower malfunctioned. I actually don't know what caused it, and then I thought I could do something to fix it, and that part might have been my fault of what happened next. Because the next day I tried to bring it out of idleness and instead of it going to the uh, login screen from the computer, it crashed. I'm not going to say it shut down on me, it crashed. Like it acted as if it was still on, but it, it, the tower basically crashed on me. And I had to get someone to work on it for me, figure out what was going on with it. Boy, three months. Three months to find out that it's just dead. <laughs> well, two and a half months to be precise. So currently, the person I can consider a computer genius, he is going to try to recover the data from it. In my mind, I'm like, how? What am I supposed to do with this data if I don't have a desktop computer? And uh, I actually found out that my mom has a spare computer. I'm going to be getting it from her, which is awesome. But it does need to be wiped because it has information of her clients before I receive it. So <laughs> hopefully, the computer genius will be able to do that before I get the computer. I don't know when that's going to happen considering the outbreak that's going on. This pandemic, how is everyone doing? Oh my gosh. This pandemic is crazy. I don't mean to say the word pandemic, but that is basically what this virus is if you are not catching up with the news. And I don't mean to freak you out with the word pandemic, and I'm trying not to say the C word even though I don't earn money off my channel. I actually have learned that saying the C word of the virus will get my video blocked. Either that or just taken down. I don't know what will happen, honestly, because I just know that things will be bad if I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm just glad to be back. I've been really itching to record and I'm hoping this video will work. I know I've been talking quite a bit already, so let me kind of pick up the pace on what I need to be saying in this part of the video. So today, we are going to be exploring Tartarus. Tartarus? How do you pronounce that anyway? <laughs> We're in Greece. I should be not pronouncing this in the Greek language, I should say. Dare I say it, I don't know much of the Greek language. Anywho, Her Interactive likes to base all of their Nancy Drew games off books, particularly the Nancy Drew book series, which has been going on since 1930. Labyrinth of Lies is based off the book The Greek Simple Mystery number 60 from the original series. Now if you're not familiar with the Nancy Drew book series, the company, originally it was Cross and Dunlap, but now it's Simon & Schuster, but the company who makes the books, they like to reset the series with different bindings, different cover arts. So I've done my research and I've learned that there are six different book cover arts of the book. That means there are six revisions of the story. Yikes. Fortunately for me, I have an original, or wait, no, I don't have an original copy. I actually had to look it up, and I will tell you how you can find a copy of yourself if you don't have an, a paperback or hardback book yourself. I will talk to about that at the end of the video. There are actually a couple of other things that I want to bring up before we get in the video. I know I've been talking enough as it is, <laughs> but I have the special edition of Labyrinth of Lies. Now the only way you can get special edition is if you pre-order the game. I don't know if Her Interactive is going to continue doing this considering they are now on a new engine, which is Unity. I hope they can improve their, their future games considering Midnight Salem probably flopped not only in sales but also in reviews. A lot of people didn't like it. 
although lately I've been hearing a lot more positive reviews despite its quality and graphics flaws. With Labyrinth of Lies, the special edition stuff you get to have are the hint system, which was added into the interface in number 29, Ghost of Thornton Hall. That and the other feature, the fast combo, was not added into the interface until then. And uh, I can actually point it out to you now. So this is the fast combo feature. The hint system is actually connected to one of the awards, which is the spoil free achievement. And another thing that's in the special edition is the phone charms. There are also mini games that you get on easy cell phone. Basically, oh, and there's also bonus arts as well as extra entries on Grigor's tablets, which we will probably be able to see throughout the game. Also, I had to basically replay Labyrinth of Lies on my laptop. This is on my laptop. I've been really hesitant to play the game on my laptop because it's so finicky uh, with its uh, sensitive battery base. Basically, a tap on the on the laptop and it will just randomly lock the screen. I don't get any warning of it. So, if at any point I can't access the game, just give me a second. Of course, it will be just a second when it comes to uh, post work. Anywho. Uh, one more thing before we get into the game, with every single game, you actually get to choose from two different detective levels. There's Amateur and Master. With Amateur, you get regular puzzles, hence available detailed task lists, as well as Master Sleuth. You get more challenging puzzles, no hints, basic task list. Now, before Ghost of Thorn Hall, basic task list really meant no task list whatsoever. You only got one thing on there, and it said, I'm a senior detective or Master Sleuth. I don't need a task list, you check that off and you're basically done for the rest of the game on that list basically. And most likely you can't call your friends that are on your phone for help either. Oi. But now with the new interface that they put with Ghost of Thorn Hall and then after, you do get a basic task list, I checked that out myself. It is pure and simple, but I assume you still won't be able to get any help from your friends that are on the cell phone. So. That is a poop. <laughs> anyway, um, I will talk about one more thing about that at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm not going to bring up why there's Rabbit 14 because of something that happened previously. I was hoping to play it off, but <laughs> I am stuck in Tartarus. Or not Tartarus. I am stuck in the Underworld because we don't have freaking lift remotes. So, um, we do have paper and taco. Let's go ahead and grab this puppy. Papuya. Hey, Charon, how's it going, buddy? So, um, there, there is a phone charm right here. I do know that in one of my previous videos that I did a kind of a phone charm run, and. We, I do have access to all the areas that have all of the phone charms. I'm not going to do the hunt now. I will do that in part 15. When I say part 15 because in part 14 I'm going to be doing something else. Because in part 14 there is another section in the game that I really want to show you guys. Just super cool. Um, uh, one more thing I want to show you is this little buddy. We are going to be touching that soon. I hope. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. Yes, there it is. Okay. Whoops, did not mean to grab that. There was something with. Uh, I forgot. I already forgot what her name was. Oh, the task list. I completely forgot about the task list. So this is where the hint system is. Uh, the hint system is basically these question marks, and these are connected to the spoiler-free achievements. Basically, you can click on this little hint line, this hint bar, and it gives you one simple hint. It's either too vague or too specific, and if you can't understand it, it is either because you are either too far behind or too far ahead in the game. And if that's the case, just keep playing the game as it is. Keep talking to everyone, look through your inventory, when I mean everyone, I mean everyone through your cell phone, everyone available that you can talk to, and even interact with everything in every scene, every area you can access. At that point, you should be able to figure out what that hint is referencing, and you'll be able to complete that task. 
So if you're still stuck and you need another hint, you can actually click this and and it'll be like that from there on and so forth and so forth. But there will be a case where there's a red box, or at least blue box with red lettering, red words that say I need a solution. That is your last resort. Because basically when you click on that solution button, that breaks your chance of getting that spoiler free achievement. And that's only if you're trying to get that achievement. You're welcome to cheat and get that solution if you want, but try to get it on your own and get that self reward. It is much more satisfying. Alright, so. Did that. Okay, so we did check out the office. Did that. Can't check I'm that not gonna off. I'm going to check that off because I still want to show you off what. I don't Still remember have to do that. In the previous video for Tartarus, so. Still have to do that. Okay. Well. Oh, hey, there's another Cerberus. Okay, that's cool. Um, we're not gonna go in there just yet, cause, cause I think. Yeah. Oh, Niobe. That's what her name is. Um, there's another phone charm right there. I'm not going to pick it up just yet because of the video that I said I was going to do. Here is something else. I think this is going to be a puzzle later on. Well, obviously, because there's pieces missing, I think. Either that or gonna, we're going to be rearranging it. Ooh, this area is super cool. I do remember there being a joke about this, of what Nancy said, I should say. And there is an Easter egg with this, which is I look forward to. Or not Easter egg, sorry, a, an achievement. With that, I actually don't know how many times you gotta hit, touch it, but you do get an achievement out of it. And here we are, Tartarus. And this here was a puzzle. We were stuck in here and had to unlock the door. Uh, this was the puzzle that helped us get out. And here, let's actually explore what oh there's stairs what's up here oh oh we're missing a piece actually I think that's on purpose well we are missing a piece but it is definitely on purpose because how else are we supposed to find everything match everything Wait. Okay, for a second I thought there was a hand. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like we need to find a key for that. Yeah, we need to unlock that. Oh, hey, keypad. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to unlock that. Alright, so let's look at this. We were so close to completing it. We are missing a plaque. Where the brick is it? Um... There's actually an easter egg with this tree over here. I'm not going to click on it. Phone charm right here. I'm not going to click on it. There's something else. Oh, hey. Did not see this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jeez. Fast click in there. What is up here? Oh, I think I see something. Ooh, a picture. Um, you know what? I actually cannot see how long I've been recording. Give me a second here. So. Oh. You had one job, pitcher. Real smooth, Nancy. We saw this from the start. Come on. I need to block the holes. So, I never really understood this puzzle. And I never really understood why this puzzle existed, but I understand that this game needs more puzzles. Um.
Oh, hey, there we go. Can use this to move the water. Okay, so basically we need to fill up this basin over here. Fortunately, our mouse still is holding this pitcher. I don't really know what's gonna happen when we fill it, because I can't remember. Oh! It unlocks it! Dude! Super open it. I was really hoping to save this for the next video. We have plenty of time. Screw it! Come on! We're, explore we're exploring the next area. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Ah! Fire! Fire! Oh my gosh! I wish I had the, the I wish I had the clips from my original computer. Um. <gasps> hey! Yes. What is this though? Oh no. That looks like a monster puzzle. And I gotta tell ya, it is a monster puzzle and it is super difficult. I mean, it's not as difficult as you think. How are we gonna get across that? We can't. Is there no side? Yeah, we can't. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go back. Talk to Niobe then. See if there's anything new. Niobe! Precious! Now, I actually can't quite remember, because, I and I probably need to look in the one of my earlier videos, I don't think I read this paper, at least not in its, in its entirety. I was pro I probably skimmed it, and I thought you guys would be able to pause and read it yourself. I don't think the quality of the video is good enough for you guys to actually read it. Detail. Identical detail work is not allowed on any reproduction. Crazy, but I think I understand because of, you know, fraud and all that jazz. Her metal work, the creation of an artificial patina, is forbidden. And I never really understood that. I will probably try to do something in part of the upload that will al allow you guys to make comments. Maybe you can comment down below to help me understand that. Using any outside materials is expressly forbidden. Yeah, it makes sense because, you know, ancient Greece. Unapproved images. Children, dogs, Sphinx, and Sharon. Approved images. Male figures, griffins, horses, gods, and soldiers. You know, that always confused me because back then, even in other uh, races, vases were basically their way of spreading the news of certain things, you know? Kind of like a newsletter. So, I don't quite get why they don't want a newsletter about their children or about dogs or anything like that. Sharon, I can kind of get because Sharon is the is the guy that takes you across to the underworld so that you can meet death, Hades. So it's just interesting because like they don't want to hear something about children, dogs. They'd rather hear about soldiers and heroes and griffins. So would they rather hear something like soldiers in in battle get eaten by griffins? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But, unfortunately, that's the final word. Melina. Oh, so Melina knows this. Interesting. Alright, anyway, let's talk to Niobe.
Did anyone ever tell you you look just like Alexandra? What? Not surprisingly, no. She was one of the best painters of ancient Greece. How good is she, you ask? How good is she? I'll take your word. She had a crater named after her. Aw, cool. Oh, wow, that's just great. On the Venus! Okay, that's pretty solid. And impressive. Follow in her footsteps. Here. What's this? Your painting. I'll do my best, but it might not look exactly like the reference. Make your mark on the world. And be a friend to a stranger. No problemo. Thank you. I'm so behind you have no clue. Behind? What has gotten you so distracted? Yeah, what has gotten you so distracted? What? Why are you... That is weird. One vase for Niobe coming right yep. up. Alright, so we... Click this baby here. And po point. I mean, it doesn't have to be precise, but I want to be precise. I mean, it's not exactly correct, because it's not uh, on the be top but at least it's somewhere close and then you give me the horse oh my gosh guys there's this one CD that I used to have actually no I think I still have it it's just somewhere in my apartment somewhere but um there's a CD I used to listen to I guess in high school, and then a couple years after that, up until like I moved to this apartment, and basically it's lullabies, um, or rather songs that are by. Not bad. Maybe Niobe was right. I am a true cool. artist. Oh, she approves. Uh, that are by other singers. In fact, well-known ones. Which is pretty sweet. Nice. I need to enter all the actors' names in the correct order. Wait, so how do we know that? Thanos wants to leave a personalized message for our VPs. Need to make sure they have a key to the poster out front. Wait, what? Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it at that part. Um, and you know what? I'm probably already behind on time. Yep, I am. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Uh, save for Rapid 14. We actually got quite a lot done. Um, yes, overrate. In the next video, I am actually going to do an Easter egg because I want to do it before we put in all the names. I mean, and according to the instructions, we should be doing it after we enter the in names, but I want to see if we can do it before we enter the names. So, we'll see if it works. I am just excited that I am back to recording videos. So hopefully this will actually work and hopefully I will be able to get this video up on Tuesday if not, it will hopefully be up on Wednesday. Not as an April Fool's joke. Seriously, this is not going to be an April Fool's joke. I really do hope to get to upload more videos on a regular basis because I know you guys are probably going to be bored with feeding cooped up in home all because of this virus that's going on. Yeah, there's actually a couple of cases have been popping up in my area actually. So I've, I've been pretty cooped up in my apartment as well. Of course, I'm used to being cooped up in my apartment. I've been someone of a hermit in my apartment for several years. I'm used to this kind of quarantining. So, with everyone complaining about, I don't know what to do with my time, with my spare time that I have now, I'm like, guys, there's internet, you have books, you have games, you have more time with your family. You're complaining of the spare time you have? Oi, first world problems. <laughs> All right. Well, that's me complaining about the pandemic. 
let me actually get into a little bit about the Greek symbol mystery number 60. And I will be saying the title a few more times just so that I can get in those book cover arts that I can show you. Because I did say there are six different cover arts that I found, which means there are six different revisions, six different stories, but just like tweaks of it that are different, most likely grammar, if not punctuation. And of course, you know, a little bit of how the story goes. Basically, the Greek simple mystery number 60 is about Nancy going to Greece with Bess and George. Frank and Joe aren't involved at all, surprisingly enough. And I think her dad goes with her as well. I can't quite remember. It's been a long time since I've read the book. I need to reread the book so that I can let you all know of what the similarities are. I did write notes though, which is fortunate enough. Uh, basically what happens is Mrs. Thompson, who is a friend and a neighbor, asks her to go to Athens, Greece, which is fortunate because her dad actually gave her a case that's in Athens already. Mrs. Thompson asks her to go to Greece. I'm confused now. I need to read, read the book. But basically, her dad's case is that someone's cousin is missing as well as inheritance. They need to find out what happened to it. And it actually takes a couple of chapters to set the story up, which is really weird because not a lot of the Nancy Drew books are like that. Normally it takes just one or two chapters, whereas in this case it actually took at least three or four chapters and it just seemed really slow. I found it weird. What picked it up was that Nancy and her friends were shopping and oddly enough a thief put a mask in her shopping bag and the grease police brought Nancy in and assumed she was the thief. They didn't give her a chance to explain herself, and if she did, it just put her in a deeper hole. They just would not accept her alibi. They would not accept any evidence that proved her innocence. They just automatically assumed she was guilty and assumed that she was part of this thief gang. It was really freaky and really scared the heck out of me. This is a lot like reality, you know. A lot of people do make assumptions like this. A lot of people do like to put blame before accepting evidence, before accepting what is real. It's just really unfortunate that reality is like that, as well as this particular book. And how the story lays out after that is just crazy ridiculous. And there are actually quite a few similarities to the book and the game, which I really like. Other than those similarities, the book and the game are completely opposite. Unfortunately, the, the mask that was stolen was actually from a museum. That's the one similarity that actually does make the game and the book really similar, is that there's a museum. But that's a good thing, because her interactive, they don't always make their games any closer to the book. And in this case, they kind of do, because I know they didn't do that at all with Shattered Medallion. Oh wait, I forgot! I was going to tell you how you can get a book for yourself. I'm sure you have a paperback or a hardback book of the Greek symbol mystery yourself. If not, I will put a direct link in the description box below to a copy of the book that you can read yourself. And that link will take you to a company is called Internet Archives, and they have different sections on their websites that you can go to. One section is called Open Library. It is basically a huge database library. You can search up any book on there and they'll have it, including Nancy Drew. They have so so many Nancy Drew books, and Greek Symbol Mystery happens to be one of them. What I really like about Open Library is that you can check out up to five books, and each book you can, ho you can hold on to for at least two weeks. That is 14 days. It is super cool, and it's all for free. The only hitch is that you have to create an account. That is it. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to give out your, your credit card information. You don't need a parent's permission or anything like that. All you need to do is create an account. I think you do need to give them your email address at least. But other than that, I, you are good and solid. It is simple as that. You can go to Open Library, but fortunately for you, I have a direct link to the book in the description box below. Please check it out. And I think that's going to be it, everyone. I've been talking quite enough as it is. I will bid you all adieu so that when this video is over, you can check out other videos that are on my channel. With that, I will go ahead and bid you all adieu. I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers. I hope you all enjoy this video.
And if so, smash that like button like a kid in the wood. And if you're just now tuning into this channel and you're not subscribed, please click, 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as the bell icon right next to it. That'll notify you of all the videos that I do, which I am currently trying to figure out what schedule I will do to adjust to during the virus quarantine. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay! On YouTube! Oh, definitely check out the app Marco Polo. Seriously. It is like a walkie-talkie with video. You can do use stickers and like highlight marker on the screen. It's like a whole bunch of fun. I've been using it with one of my friends. And it's like keeping up with each other. It's, it's so cool. I love it.